Welcome back everybody to Evil's Comics. I'm Evil Mike and I have another review for you. I hope you are having a good day. It is a new comic book day and I'm kind of, you know, trying to clear out some older stuff uh, before a new comic book day kind of hits. Um, but one that um, I've been wanting to get to but just haven't got around to it. But this is Nottingham uh, issue number three from Mad Cave. Um, this is the, the second printing cover. Uh, we'll get into the the who's and in and so we got writer by uh, David Hassan, artist is Shane Connery Volk, colorist is Luca uh, Romano, and um, letters by Jometty Gill and cover artist is David Reyes. Um, this is a kind of a alternate version uh, retelling of uh, Robin Hood and uh, his Merry Men. Um, it is told through the uh, the eyes of a sheriff of Nottingham, kind of a painting him as the hero and Robin Hood and his crew as a uh, real criminals and that kind of stuff. Um, there is the same basis where Robin Hood and his married men they they still do steal from the rich and give to the poor, um, but it's just set up a lot differently. It's a lot more violent that kind of thing. Uh, recently in the story. We had a assassin uh, break into the uh, main castle where uh, <clears throat> the sheriff Blackthorn is uh, currently, you know, in charge of, and and um, you know, someone was assassinated. And we found out it was, uh, you know, after the investigation that happened in issue number two, that it was uh, Alan, and he is uh, found out to be one of the married men. Currently, at the beginning of this uh, at this issue. Uh, you know the sheriff has gathered a posse and they are you know after Alan <clears throat> there is this uh, uh, throughout the the comic there is a um, throughout this issue specifically there is a a letter that is being read to the reader um, but I'll get into that near the ending because um, it kind of didn't really make sense until the ending um, but we do see that, that Alan has made it to a church, and back then, you know, sanctuary was a big thing. Um, you know, if you made it to holy ground, no matter what you did, you know, you could, uh, you know, um, be granted a sanctuary. And, and as long as you stayed there and, and repented and, uh, you know, asked God for forgiveness, that you would be allowed to stay. And uh, we do see that the monks uh, greet... Um, Sheriff Blackthorn, you know, his posse and everything outside telling him that they, they cannot, you know, enter, that, that he has claimed sanctuary. Um, and uh, we just see that the sheriff is, is rather mad, um, you know, that they are guarding, a, you know, an assassin kind of thing. Um, through the back and forth conversation, uh, Sheriff Blackthorn does realize who is talking to him, the main you know, um, Friar that comes to talk to them, and it is uh, none other than Friar Tuck. And uh, we kind of get a behind, you know, like a flashback <clears throat> into uh, Black Dorn's young, younger days and, and how he was raised. Um, but basically, it's like Friar Tuck, it's, um, it's uh, Sheriff Black Dorn, and he is uh, with uh, two other guys, and they have uh, insulted a lady, and basically, he is defending her honor and um, in the commotion of the fight he ends up you know besting both guys being the better fighter he does take some hits but um, near the end of the fight he ends up um, striking one of the gentlemen in the wrong way and it looks like he snaps uh, his neck it does not kill him right then and there it is revealed later on but the guy does uh, he, he pretty much has a slow death kind of thing um, He's kind of like a vegetable at that point, and, and after that, he, they're just waiting on him to die, and that's like weeks later. Um, we do see that that, that Blackthorn, uh, you know, it, it was by accident. He was trying to defend the lady's honor, but he wasn't trying to kill the the two gentlemen or, or you know one of them. Um, so he does uh, run off, and he does uh, make it to a church, uh, claiming sanctuary, and kind of ask. Uh, the, the friar there, and in it, this one being Friar Lawrence, um, basically the friar kind of tells him, like, look, you know, you can claim sanctuary, but we're in the city, um, everybody's looking for you, they've already asked about you, so, I mean, if they show up with the right type of people, like an angry mob, 
you know, I'm just one guy, I'm not going to be able to save you, you know, kind of thing. But there is an alternative, and he kind of tells him that, you know, the holy wars are going on currently. And um, he suggests that he goes and looks for um, the Queen Mary ship and tells him that, you know, basically, you know, say that I sent you and they will allow you on that ship and you and you can go fight in the holy wars and who knows, you might fight next to, uh, you know, um, I think it is... Uh, King Lionheart or King Richard, um, I think it was like the fourth King Richard the fourth. I'm not. I don't remember. I'm, and again, I'm bad with names. Um, but we do see that he does take the uh, the friar's um, you know suggestion, and he he makes it just in time because the ship is uh, leaving off. But he is granted access to join um, you know the Holy Crusades, and he mentions that's where he knows uh, Friar Tuck from. Um, saying that Friar Tuck doesn't really remember him, but he does uh, remember Friar Tuck from the Holy Wars. I, I would like to add that, that I've heard mixed comments about the art in this book, but like, like this panel right here, I, I love the art all the way through, but some of the panels are just amazing like this. And then they show the Abbey before where the um, where uh, Alan is holed up. <clears throat> but at this point, um, Friar Tuck still, you know, defending his stance, saying that, you know, they're not going to allow them in regardless of past knowing and this and that. And um, basically the sheriff, it, you know, is at that point where he's at the angry mob stating that, no, that guy has information that's going to lead us to Robin Hood. We need that guy. And um, they basically start fighting and besting most of the friars and monks that are present because they're not really like warriors or everything. We do see that Friar Tuck is able to uh, hold his own against uh, Sheriff uh, Blackthorn, and we've already seen that Sheriff Blackthorn is a apt fighter, um, swordsman, and hand-to-hand. -hand. Um, eventually, uh, we do, they, they, they are kind of uh, thrown off guard because they do hear a loud crash and a scream coming from the abbey. Um, they they kind of quickly, um, you know, a, a, all sides stop what they're doing, and at that time, you know, um, kind of both gentlemen realizing what just happened, and they they kind of look at each other and they're like, okay, truce temporarily. Let's go do this together, and um, they they do uh, both uh, both gentlemen are correct, and Alan has taken his life, and. Um, you know, because he he was afraid that Blackthorn would make it into the Abbey, even though he claimed the sanctuary, and he was afraid that he was going to give away. Uh, he wasn't afraid. He he knew he was going to give away the information because he wasn't that strong. Um, and, you know, simply stating that you know the suicide route was going to be the easier way to deal with it. Um, the the letter that I mentioned in the beginning of the the issue is his uh, like last will and testimony, his suicide letter and everything, and he's just basically talking about um, you know the life that he lived and the things that he loved and lost and regrets and that kind of thing. Um, it is a very um, the letter itself is 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 is, is really good. I'd say um, I want to say amazing, but it, it was really good. Um, but eventually, that's kind of the sum up. Um, that basically he wants his family to be taken care of. He really is asking uh, Blackthorn not to involve his family, that it was specifically him helping Robin Hood and the Merry Man um, to not kind of drag his family and everything into it. And basically he leaves like a little bit of silver with his uh, suicide note to take care of his family. And um, the sheriff not being, he's not really a bad guy, he's investigating a murder, that kind of thing. Um, so he obliges with uh, his last um, wish and asks the friar to do the same thing, which Friar Tuck also agrees to do. So they basically um, are going to keep the whole event with Alan's suicide and everything, the murder, uh, secret. Um, we do jut over to another scene uh, where uh, Marion is on a horse and she is, uh, after leaving the castle, you know, now they, they could I think uh, the sheriff had already know you know, kind of figured out that she was the one that was helping in the castle. I'm not sure if that happened, but I think it did in, in issue two. Um, but she has fled, and she is on the way to, um, you know, talk to Robin Hood and, um, and his merry man. We, he is, she is greeted by uh, Little John, which she, I love the way he looks. He's so massive. Um, 
but she basically tells Robin Hood and um, you know as Mary Man basically that there's a job that you know that, that somewhere in the castle there's this this crown jewel that you know no one's really paying attention to now that they're more worried about Robin Hood and the murders and this and that um, and she kind of like you know she's like yeah you know they don't realize that I'm, I'm the traitor so I still have hidden information kind of thing she kind of um, rides away <clears throat> And uh, we do have a conversation with Little John and Robin Hood, um, basically talking about they realize it is a trap, that she's kind of blinded. She doesn't know it's a trap, that she's kind of blinded by the wealth and everything. And um, they, they realize it's a trap, but they're going to kind of use it to their um, advantage on both regards, like kind of use her information as a spy and perhaps uh, somehow try and figure out and steal the the massive uh, you know jewels or whatever she was talking about that they had in the castle um, so that's where it looks like the um, the fourth issue will will take us um, but regardless a, an amazing issue great story um, a really good art um, but um, and that's all I can say about that. I'll be looking out for uh, my review on the fourth and fifth issue. I'm going to try and knock them out before uh, this comic book read starts. So uh, hopefully I can. If not, uh, I'll get to them sooner or later. All right, guys. Bye.